it's pretty salty. You guys want some? No? I think they're a little distracted. It is hot. Summer is back, Explorers, here at Universal Studios Japan. Now until August 24th, 2023, there is a brand new summer show called Super Mario Power Up, where we're gonna get completely soaked. There's also food and of course merchandise. I'm gonna show you everything because you know what? That's what I do. In addition, there's also new merchandise for Spider-Man because Spider-Man's actually closing permanently here. And we're also gonna check out Jurassic Park because that is also going down for a long refurbishment. So I wanna ride that before it closes for a long time. With that said, let's head inside. They have the window displays here all done up for summer. Super Mario Power Up Summer. <laughs> I can't wait to do that show later. There's my boy Toad. We got Mario. That's cool. And we have Luigi and Princess Peach. Oh my goodness. Bowser Jr. He's gonna be in the show, isn't he? <gasps> oh, I, oh my goodness, I am excited. I'm excited. I am excited. Uh, oh, there's new summer merchandise. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna check out merchandise. And first, of course we see Mario. Oh, hello, hi, what's this? It changes, it changes color. Oh, and the pants do too. So a pattern emerges and then, oh, the color appears. Okay, well, you know what? I have to buy this. I absolutely have to buy this. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. So they have children's sizes and up to XL, it looks like. For some hurry in. Uh, and then, yeah, sizes M to L, which is this, 4,900 yen. That's cool, I love that. I like that a lot. <gasps> they have a hooded towel, they have a hooded towel, hello. Hello, hooded towel, all oh, the characters on it. Power up summer, love it. Oh my goodness, they have water shooters. That's huge, you can use this during the show. The water show. Here it's showing you where you can fill up the water. So this is Terminator and this is where the show is, which we're gonna be watching later. And the water drops is where you can fill up with water. So here's the hooded towel. Towel with hood, 4,000 4, yen. On here's more prices on the t-shirts. Also the kids are 37 and the adults are 47. And the half pants, and the shorts, the swimming trunks I assume. 4,900 yen for Adults, 4,200 yen for children. Children sizes, so we're right here. <laughs> I do love a hooded towel. It comes in so handy during the, the summer. Keeps the sun off you. And if you're watching the, the summer shows, you know, it helps keep you dry or dry off quicker, you know? And also, yeah, UV cut protects you from the sun. And this one's cooling. Oh, this is a cooling one. Oh, how much is this? Uh, 4,000 yen for that. And this is outside of Super Nintendo World, as you noticed. This is 4,200 yen. What is this? Uh, well, it's just a, like a gauze blanket. Yeah, so some stuff is available outside of Super Nintendo World. Nice cooling towel. It's a cute little pattern. Cute little nautical pattern. 2,900 yen for that. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's a long towel that goes around your neck. And, ah, they have one of the cooling uh, pads here. You break, like you bend it and it breaks open and it cools off. So it's 2,900 yen for that. Now we have a spray fan. Cute. How much is this? Uh, 2,200 yen for that. And we have a Mario hooded towel. So it looks like there. UV protection, 2,800 yen. Yeah, the heat is no joke with the sun. You definitely want to protect yourself so you don't get heat stroke, sunburnt, you know, we don't want that. It'll ruin your day, we don't want that. 2800 yen, there's a Yoshi one. Look at the, the apples. Cute, so cute. And then we have Toad, my boy Toad. Hey Toad, you're gonna be 2800 yen too, right? Yep. Canopio. 
and we have some fans. <laughs> Princess Peach fan. How much is this? 3,900 yen. <laughs> it's a fan, right? Has to be. Why wouldn't it be? Sure, close enough. And there's also a Yoshi one. Yes, they're mist fans, it says up there. Those are fun. And they have some more long towels with different characters. So we got Snoopy, and this comes with the, the cooling pad here. When they break, you break it, like punch it, you know, like a glow stick, kind of. And it's cool for a little bit. Try 100 yen. So we got Snoopy. Oh my goodness. Minions. I like the brown and the purple, or pink. That's really cute. Minions again. Those are fun colors. Oh, we got Spider-Man. <laughs> They're all the same price. And they all come with the, this thing here. What's this? Oh, Jaws. Oh there's, two, oh, there's two Jaws. So there's this one here. And then there's one here. This one's kind of fun. I like that. Oh, yeah, the pattern is up on here. I was going a little too quick. You can see the patterns there. Jurassic Park. Jurassic World, I should say. Pardon me. This is Woody. Oh, that's Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> I've been seeing these around. Has anyone tried these? I'm curious about them. I haven't actually tried. It's a cooling ring, so it cools off really quickly, and then you wear it on your neck. Uh, developed by Nassau. It's 3,800 yen. Supposed to help keep your body temperature down. That would be the size I'd have. This is a smaller size for children. 300 yen. Or people with small necks, I guess. <laughs> that says Universe Switch Japan, so does that one. It's a Minions themed one. Minions, so what's this one? Oh, Snoopy, that's cute. Oh, we have some cooling towels. These ones you get wet and you can wring it out. You can see that, you know, it's that type of material. 2,900 yen chill here. These colors are really nice. And then over here, ooh, University of Japan. I love, I'm a sucker for things that just have like the University of Japan logo on it. I am such a sucker for that. Oh, and they have some sandals, some thongs, some flip-flops, depending on where you're from. They're called different things. <laughs> 2200 yen. And there's yeah, different sizes here. Those are cute. Oh, these are little cooling blankets. Oh, it's a cooling blanket. Minions United. Oh, cool blanket cushion. Ah, that's fun. 4,000 yen, so it turns into a cushion, but also you can unfold it into a blanket. I love these, I have one at home. Like, not this one in particular, but I have like this kind of cooling, cool blanket, and they're so nice in the summer, especially when it's hot and humid and gross. It just makes you feel feel nice. 4,000 yen for that. Oh, hello. They're in their summer outfits. She's got a new hat. <laughs> for 2,500 yen. Oh, Snoopy, it's very soft, it's very soft. And we got Charlie Brown. Bare feet. <laughs> a little logo on there. That's fun. I think I showed this in an earlier video, but I'm gonna show it again because I love it. 6,500 yen. Oh yeah, I did a Super Nintendo World merch video, so if you haven't watched it, I'll put it up here, go watch that, because I do look at these, but I'll go over them really quickly. Plus other Super Nintendo World stuff. It's Yoshi! Now, I tried this on, and um, it's too short for me. I knew I, it's free size, so I knew it wouldn't button up just by looking at it. It's not gonna button up. I'm just, I'm a little, uh, you know. <laughs> All the theme park food is catching up with me, if you know what I mean. Um, but this doesn't button up. But my problem is not the sleeve. The sleeves are fine. It's actually the length down here. It's too short. So even unbuttoned, it looks a little, doesn't fit right on me, unfortunately. But they're super cute. I would have bought it in a heartbeat if it fit. And then they have the bucket hats up there too. There's different bucket hats. But this, this is new. This just came out, I don't, I don't know, very recently. It's like the super, the super power up thing that I showed earlier, the shirt. Same idea, changes colors when you get it wet. Booka, booka. I love it. I love it. English are called cheap, cheap, right? I think, yes, if memory serves me correct. 
how much is this? It is 37, probably, 47? 47, 4700 yen for that. All right, well, I just noticed there's a whole bunch of new Super Nintendo World merchandise that I didn't cover in my other video, so we're gonna go over it. This stuff must have just come out. So it's all stuff themed to the mini games inside Super Nintendo World here. So we have Omiyage, they have little cookies and little chocolate peanuts. It comes in a cardboard box. Brilliant. How much are you? Oh, 1,900 yen. There's 15 bags in it. And then there's also another one with different rice snacks inside of it. 1,800 yen for 18, 18 pieces. And you can open them up. That's, where, that's the, the Thwomp Panic game. That's fun. Oh no. We have a Koopa Troopa on a pal. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I love it. 1,800 yen. And there's also, it looks like a note block, this thing. Must be this, oh yeah. 1,600 yen, so it's a note block. Folds open, there's memos inside, okay. Oh, I see. That's really fun. And then over here, <gasps> it's all the mini games. Oh, it's, oh, it changes color. It, oh, that is really fun. 3,000 yen, 4,500 yen for this t-shirt. Oh, yeah. The games again. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about the design. <laughs> it's, that's so pretty cute though. Oh my goodness, they have an acrylic stand desk organizer that looks like Super Nintendo World. 1,900 yen. Okay, well, um, I, 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 I think I need to buy this. I, that's fantastic. Uh, they have a Goomba, 1,500 yen. Yeah, this is the game where you crank and you have to make the Goomba fall over. That's so good. And the key on there, that's great. I, uh. <laughs> then we have another pass case with the Thwomp Panic on it. You can put your park ticket in here. This is hard, hard plastic. 1,800 yen. You have the key on there. Uh, they have a small towel from the bomb, the bomb game where you get the key. It's a little mini towel set. Look at the mini towels it comes with. I get asked a lot why people carry a lot of towels here. Well, because a lot of restrooms will not have towels or a paper towel or hand dryers. Not all of them, but a lot of them don't. So people carry this so you can dry your hands. <laughs> they have a children's sized shirt. This is after the Piranha Plant game with the clocks. Oh, and that turns around. 3,700 yen. That's adorable. <gasps> the Piranha Plant with Mario on the bottom there. That is, that's good. I think I showed this in one of my other videos, but yeah, they have this, this shirt. Oh wait, yeah, that changes. Adorable, 4,500 yen. Oh, they have a bag version, are you kidding? They have a bag, I like the bag more. I want the bag. Hello, I want this bag, how much are you? 3,900 yen, yes, yes we want this bag. We want this bag. They have a charm set of all the mini games. Kinda, they're not attached there. Got Bowser Jr. on all of on the back side of the mall. <laughs> How much is this? Uh, 2,800 yen for that. And another pass case. We love a pass case. 1,800 yen. I'm gonna have to buy something. I think I'm gonna have to get the shirt. <laughs> because it is summer, there's plenty of shaved ice to choose from and we're trying this pineapple Minion shaved ice. You can get it here in Minion Park at Delicious Me. I love shaved ice. Shaved ice in Japanese is called kakigori, and it's very popular in the summer. You can get shaved ice pretty much anywhere, including Universal Studios Japan. We are here during the press day for the summer event, so some of the food is provided to us. So I just want to be fully transparent with you explorers. I love, I love that there's a big old pineapple on here. Love that. It's like a blue Hawaiian. It's cold. 
It's making my teeth hurt. <laughs> oh, the pineapple's very sweet. Oh yeah, that's definitely blue Hawaiian. That is super refreshing. Ah, oh, especially in the summer heat, this is the perfect way to cool down. Oh, there's a copious amount of syrup on here. It's incredibly sweet, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. There's also bits of pineapple on here too, like little pieces of pineapple. I'm trying to get to the bottom, to the bottom of this. Whoa. That pineapple punched me in the throat, in the taste buds. That is, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of pineapple going on. Incredibly refreshing. If you've watched my best places to eat video, you know that Louis Pizza is the place to be for pizza. And for the summer, they have this garlic shrimp pizza. It smells very garlicky. You can really smell it. Some of the restaurants now, they're starting to switch over from plastic utensils to wooden. Nice and sustainable. We love that. We love to see that. <laughs> We're gonna try the garlic shrimp pizza here. So some of it is, <laughs> looks like it's deep fried. Some of the shrimp is actually deep fried, which I like deep fried shrimp. You know, like popcorn shrimp. Man, you can smell the garlic a mile away. That is really good. Wow. Mm. In addition to them switching over to the wooden utensils, they're also starting to go strawless too, which I like. I never cared for the paper straws, let's be honest. Who liked those? You would never finish your drink in time before the straw turned to mush. So I'm, I'm okay with no straws. Just make the lid work good. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I was a little worried about this pizza because I'm not the biggest fan of shrimp, but the garlic on this, it feels like it's dipped in garlic. Like that's what it tastes like. That is really good. And the shrimp, yeah. deep fried shrimp, you can't go wrong with anything deep fried really, it makes it better. This is, <laughs> this is really good, I, yeah. We're just waiting for the show to start. I look at the stage back there. I got my water gun, I got my hoodie, my hood, and my shirt that changes color when it gets wet. So I am really looking forward to this. I got my GoPro ready. Protect me from the sun. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's power up with lots of water and have a great time. Can't wait. That was so much fun. Oh my goodness, I loved Team Canopio, Team Peach, Team Luigi, Team Mario. The water coming all over you. And my shirt is soaking wet and it changes color. That, that was so much fun. And the song is a bop. So you can stand, there's different areas to stand in and everything. And there's a special place for children. Yeah, such a fun, fun show. Ugh. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I want to show you the towel really quickly. So it's nice and thin, and you got the nice hood up top here, and turn around, and you got the characters on here. Uh, super cute, super cute. And it protects you from the sun, kind of keeps you dry-ish, but the most important thing is the sun, keeps that sun off of you. I don't like carrying the parasol around for the UV. I got, I got too much stuff to carry. My life is very, very busy. I'm a very busy person. So having this, perfect. I have a lot of these at home, like not just Mario themed, but I have ones from, you can buy them anywhere in Japan, really. And it's just super cute and super useful. <laughs> the cheese shirt, 
changes color when it gets wet. And I got soaked during the show. I also sprayed myself down to kind of emphasize, <laughs> emphasize the color change. It's fun. That's what we're here for. We're here to have fun. We continue on with our food journey here. We're at Mel's Diner and we're getting the spicy avocado burger. And <laughs> I asked the lovely lady at the cash register, I said to her, could I just call? Or asking, is this spicy? And she looks at me and says, no, just a little bit. <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> at least she was honest. And I love that because when things say spicy in Japan, they're really not that spicy. I, uh, they're just not. So I'll be the judge of that with this. <laughs> so we got the spicy avocado burger. And it looks, it's a little messy. Burgers are always pretty messy. It smells good though. I love, I love avocado. The guac is extra, you know? <laughs> She wasn't lying. <laughs> the, the spice in this is so faint. The avocado is nice and creamy. It is not spicy. There's a little bit of heat. Like, it's like, it's as if it's trying. It's like, I'm trying to be spicy, but not really. The burger though, it's not bad. I mean, the burgers here, you know, they're, they're burgers, they're passable. Does the job. Because I can't get enough food, I went to the Mario Cafe and got myself a strawberry smoothie. It has ice cream in here and strawberries. Oh, I love a good strawberry and this looks delicious. <laughs> they told me to drink from the straw so it looks like I have a mustache. Covers up the grays in my mustache, there we go. Maybe that's what they were trying to tell me. <laughs> this is the summer version of one of their drinks. They still have the regular menu and they also do stuff in the winter. I did a video on the Mario Cafe a while ago, so I'll put it up on the screen so you can go and check that out. This, wonderful, it smells wonderful. You guys want some? No? I think they're a little distracted. Oh, it's nice and smooth and just like, it's a strawberry like puree frozen into a smoothie. And there's strawberries on the bottom as well. Like actual strawberries <laughs> with, the, with the little leaf on it on top and everything. Legit. Like this is so good. This is really good. Get this, this is, this is really good. Oh, it is. Hot. I love that they have these cool zones scattered throughout the park. Ah. 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 Feels nice. We're taking a little break from eating. <laughs> we've, we've eaten a lot. So Spider-Man here, it's closing for good in January of 2024. So there's some new merchandise to celebrate the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. And then also we're gonna get a special tour and I'm gonna take you along with us. I'm excited to show you around inside. I love that they have all this different merchandise. So we have a mug here, the amazing adventures of Spider-Man the Ride, Universal Studios Japan. The spider web on there, the coaster. See, it, it's just taped on here, but you can put it on your table so it sits on there, doesn't leave a ring. It is 2,500 yen. Charm set, 1,800. I'm a little sad that this is closing. This was one of my uh, first attractions I've ever done inside of a theme park because Universal Studios Japan is actually my very first like major theme park that I visited back in 2003. Yes, 20 years ago. It's 1500 yen, this is nice. Yeah, I was here on a study abroad 
And I came here during Christmas with some friends. And so the University of Japan is my very first theme park. 4,500 yen for this t-shirt. A friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The amazing Spider-Man saves cub reporters high above the streets of New York. And it's, it changes. That's really cool. Oh, hello, I love this. And it's like a charcoal gray, or charcoal, yeah, charcoal gray. It's not black. Oh, I love that, 4,500 yen. The Amazing Adventure of Spider-Man, The Ride, Universal Studios, Japan. I might have to get this. I might have to get this shirt. That's brilliant. And there's also a, t uh, not t-shirt, a hat. This is 8,000 yen. Oh, look at the bottom. Yeah, so this ride is closing in January, but we don't know what's replacing it. They haven't told us yet. So I wonder what's gonna replace it. What do you think is gonna replace Spider-Man? Let me know in the comments. There's some rumors flying around. So let me know what you think. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I do love a pass case, 1800 yen for that. And it says the logo on here. Oh, uh-oh, hello, hi. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> you know how much I love a clear file. There's always a clear file, I swear. I have so many clear files. 300 yen. How many are in here? Four, there's four in here. Well, I'm gonna have to buy that. I know, I know I'm gonna have to. I will have to. On those other Spider-Man merchandise. But we're not gonna go through that. Oh, I almost missed this stuff. Board. How much is this? Oh, 1900 yen for the clipboard. Oh. I like that. Another pass case. This one doesn't extend. How much is this? 2500 yen. Ah, oh, there's a can badge collection. You have all their blind bags with all these different buttons, the different characters that are in the ride, and the spider. The Spider Verse, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're all they're all they're all blind bags. Seven hundred yen. I okay, that's what I was looking at earlier. The seven hundred yen was this. Okay, cool. Or if you're someone like me, you don't want to buy the blind bags. You just want the full collection. You can buy it, and it comes with a book. It looks like yeah, a complete book. Fourteen thousand yen. So like one hundred and ten dollars U.S. dollars. You get the whole thing guaranteed. Oh my goodness, it is a little pouch that looks like a steamed bun, steamed meat bun. And it's a keychain, look at that, look. <laughs> oh, 2,500 yen, brilliant. And then over here, there's actually these little cases that look like cups of noodles. Spider-Man, yep. How much is this? This is 2,900 yen. But there's something else I want to show you. The case I showed you, these noodles, these cup noodles actually fit inside. So you want to put your cup noodle in a case that looks like cup noodle. You can do that. 4,800 yen. Look at, look at the little Spider-Man on there. And there is a pun in here. So it's called Spider-Man. And it says up here, Supaida Men. Men is a noodle. Spider Men. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <sighs> they also have some art panels that you can buy. 4,900 yen for this Spider Man one. <laughs> is this a set? Oh no, we buy them separately. Clear file. Collection, 700 yen. Oh no. Sorry, I read that wrong. The top one is the can badge, the button up there. 700 yen. And then the clear file set. Oh, that's one that comes in the clear file set that I looked at earlier. And then the ballpoint pen. A little hard to see there. There's a nice ballpoint pen. It has a logo of Spider Man, the ride on it. That's 2,700 yen. All right, it's time for the tour. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to be sad when it closes. January 22nd, 2024 is when this attraction closes for good. Like I mentioned earlier, we don't know what is replacing it. We don't know yet. Eventually we'll know, but right now we don't. <laughs> so during the tour, they pointed out a couple of things to us. On the inside in the office, there's a calendar and it's marked up to July 4th. This is when the ride takes place. It takes place on July 4th and today is July 4th. So it's the starting of the finale of Spider-Man. And also in the queue and throughout the ride, there are four Stan Lees, two Iron Mans. I didn't even find Iron Man at all. And then six J. Jonah Jameson in posters. And he's wearing a different necktie in every poster that you find with him in it. That's some detail. I didn't know that at all. And in addition, there is a new Express Pass called the Express Pass 1, which is available through the Universal Studios Japan website. And if you get it, you will get this special edition Daily Bugle for a limited time. And also included is the ride photo for the attraction, which just started up today. And if you don't want to get the Express Pass, you can ask the crew members for these stickers. Free little stickers. So there are plenty of ways to commemorate Spider-Man before it closes. I'm gonna miss it. But I am excited for what is next. We're here at the Bellagerie as I'm grooving to, I don't know what to play, something with, not a harmonica, a uh, accordion, that's the word. <laughs> Getting out of the blistering heat, it's like 32 degrees today, it is hot. And it's the beginning of July and it's just gonna get hotter. But we're having some delicious desserts. First, we're having this coconut mousse with cardamom scented stuff on it. <laughs> that's, what it that's what the sign says. And there's also pineapple on here. You know, pineapple represents uh, summer. I love coconut mousse. You know how I feel about mousse, but we'll see how this goes. We're gonna look inside here. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's a mousse. <laughs> oh, there's jelly inside of it too. Ooh. There's jelly inside of it too. There's little pieces of coconut on here. I love coconut. Like if you give me coconut fingers, you know, the coconut chocolate dipped in chocolate, coconut dipped in chocolate, whatever. My kryptonite, I love that stuff so much. So this is kind of reminiscent of that. Pineapple's nice and fresh. The mousse is minimal. I'll give them that, it's minimal. The pineapple jelly on the top is a little subtle. As I like to say a lot on this channel, it's not too sweet. No, this is really good, it's nice and refreshing. Cause you know, usually I'm not like the biggest fan of just mousse, but this is mousse filled with other stuff. I enjoy this one a lot. Next, we're trying the grapefruit jelly and peach panna cotta. Presentation on this is really pretty. So like this stuff isn't themed like the other desserts that we tried, which are really fun and character driven. These are just elegant looking. Like it looks like you can get these out of a bakery anywhere. They're, like the presentation is very elegant. Sometimes you don't want something that's shaped like Mario. Well, I do, but, <laughs> but sometimes it's, it's it, you know, it's a nice change of pace to have a a grown-up, a grown-up dessert. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. The heat is getting to me. No. No. I don't like grapefruit. I guess I should have prefaced everything with this. I don't care for grapefruit, so. <laughs> I'm not a grapefruit person. There's bits, there's like straight up grapefruit in here. And um, yeah, it's very strong on the grapefruit. Yeah. It's very tart. It overpowers the peach, for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to pat a cotta. It's very subtle. Yeah, the grapefruit really overpowers it. Yeah, sorry. Not, not my jam, not my fruit. Get this one instead. 
<laughs> Next, we're gonna get on Jurassic Park the ride. I've been looking forward to this because this is gonna be my last chance to get on the ride before it goes down for a very, very long refurbishment. <laughs> Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> that was my terrible attempt at sounding like the adults in Peanuts. For some reason, our audio didn't record, so you're just gonna have to see me lip sync really badly <laughs> to what's happening on the screen here. <laughs> As I mentioned, Jurassic Park is going down for a very long refurbishment starting on September 4th, 2023, and goes until sometime in 2025. We don't know exactly what they're doing to the ride, but we can probably guess. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> As you can see, I got a little wet. My shirt did change color, so the shirt works. <laughs> We've tested it a lot throughout this video. And I recently did the Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure over in Universal Studios Singapore, and that one is different to the one here in Japan. The one in Singapore is the same ride system as Cali River Rapids over in the US and you know you get spun around and everything. Uh, you can watch that video, I'll put it up on the screen, you can go and check that out later. Anyway, enough this bad lip syncing, bad dubbing, we're gonna go get some more food. <laughs> Remember what I said about all the kakigori, the shaved ice? Well, there's a Jaws version. This isn't new, but it comes back every summer and I always have to get it. I love the motif on here. We have the blue, we have the red, classic Jaws. And then this one has peaches on it and sea salt cream, which sounds interesting. I don't remember, this might be new. I don't remember this on the last one. You know what, I'm a sucker for anything that's like sea salt. Sea salt, anything, throw sea salt on it, I'll buy it. <laughs> what can I say? There's a lot, like it's pretty salty. That's clever. That's clever. Then I believe this is just a piece of chocolate that says warning on it. They really love the peaches. There's peaches in a lot of stuff lately. You know what, I could live without the peaches. <laughs> but the, the blue is nice. It's, the, it's a blue Hawaiian, I believe. It tastes like blue. I think what would have been better on here is maybe, maybe strawberries to kind of go with the red on the bottom. I think that might have worked better. I would have enjoyed that more. I'm not a fan of, I don't know, these are probably canned peaches, is my guess. Eh, they're fine. I'm just gonna eat around them. Oh. It's a little anticlimactic. I'm trying to get the red at the bottom. Is that strawberry? Oh, there's jelly on the bottom. There's jelly. Oh, it's red jelly. I'm ready for this jelly. I'm having a hard time getting this red. I, I, I don't know, it must be strawberry or something. I don't know, it tastes red. Is that a flavor? It tastes red. This is delicious, this is fantastic. Minus the peaches, peaches are not for me. There could be a million peaches, and no, but not for me. But the blue, the blue slushy, the blue ice and the red on the bottom with the cream, salted cream, perfect. More shaved ice and more peaches. The peaches are becoming the corn for me. <laughs> peaches on everything. Was there a sale on peaches or something? I don't know. But thankfully with this one, the Snoopy shaved ice here, there's a lot of strawberries on it and very minimal peaches. And the presentation on this is really cute. I like the packaging. Ooh, stra the strawberries, I know I'm gonna like this. And it's pink. So I'm not sure if, it's a, if that's strawberry or not, we will find out. And with this one, they give you a straw. Cause you know, by the time I'm done talking, this thing is practically melted. <laughs> After 20 takes that it takes for me to get this right. And it also comes with a cute little uh, spoon that has a lot of peaches on it. Let's just get it over with. 
No thanks on the peaches. We're gonna go right for the strawberries. Let's turn this around. Strawberry. Oh yeah. That's all strawberry. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. When I saw the sign for this and said there's peaches on it, I was a little disappointed. I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be a lot of peaches on this. The strawberry is overpowering the peaches and I'm happy for it. I'm happy for it. I am happy for you, Snoopy. And the candied strawberries on here are delicious. Very sweet. With this one, there's no cream or anything on it. It's just straight up fruit and ice and a Snoopy surfboard. They're going for like a surfing theme. It's a little basic, but you know what? Sometimes that's all you want. Don't worry about the peaches, you don't really taste them. The strawberries are fighting this battle. <laughs> it's the peaches, strawberries versus peaches. We should make them into a game. Out of all of them though, I'm gonna have to go with Jaws. Jaws was my favorite. The sea salt cream on there, I think is what kind of toppled it over. That nice little extra bit of it. And also, it looked like Jaws attacked someone. I love that little detail. <laughs> this is this is cute though. And you know what? I didn't get brain freeze this time. I'm gonna call that away. Oh my goodness, I ate so much food today. <laughs> Out of everything I tried today, Explorers, what what would you try? What do you think looks good? Let me know in the comments. Remember, if you're planning a trip to Universal Studios Japan, check out our guidebook. I'll put a link in the description or head to tdrexplorer.com slash books. It helps you plan your entire trip to Universal Studios Japan, how to get into Super Nintendo World, Express Passes Explained, where to stay, all those wonderful things. So make sure you go and check it out. And remember, the Super Mario Power Up Summer is on until August 24th, 2023. All right, I'm gonna go and cool off because it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. I'll put another video up here for you, Explorers, so you can continue playing your trip to Universal Studios Japan. All right, bye.